so welcome back to another video we are down to look at something that's close to my heart it's a Vauxhall this beautiful thing it is a rear wheel drive MX-5 powered Nova so let's dive in and let's have a look at what makes this so special <laughs> stunning does this look outside in the sun the color definitely pops when you look at it this is obviously a uh, Vauxhall Nova and it has been fully converted to rear wheel drive using all MX-5 parts and obviously some custom fabrication on the shell itself but I think everyone will agree this looks absolutely amazing I couldn't have picked a better colour, I'm honest. So let's talk about basically the body shell to start with. Started off as obviously as a as a kind of a standard Nova. Nothing much more really to report other than the wide arch body kit. To make it rear wheel drive, it uses all the escort parts. So obviously it's a lot wider than a standard Nova, hence having the larger arches. Little wheels made wider certainly makes this stand out so, so well. A little workshop, wow, she is clean, isn't she? Wow. So what's the story? Some of the story. There's always a story with them. There's always a story with them. Yeah, they said you built it through lockdown. Yeah, I bought, it, uh, bought a shell in 2015. Sat in the corner of the shed in Bristol. I cut the front end of the engine bay out. I think um, when was that? Just after I got it. Sat in an X5 engine and there were two bits of box section and then just left it there. And then when I moved down here, brought it down because obviously COVID. Built it all through COVID basically. That's why it's okay. The number plate on it, 2019, because yeah. it's a rear wheel drive, it's so well, I thought I had to do it, but I reckon it's about 500 hours there. Yeah, it, took me. it does, does mount hours. up, yeah, it does mount up. Cut the whole, the whole floor out. So is the floor MX-5? No. Nope. So nope. still Nova, but adapted for the MX-5 yeah. stuff? It's my, it's my own. All right, okay. So it runs, it's got a, it's got Mark II Escort Forest turrets in the back, it's got standard Nova turrets in the front. But then it's got Mark II S4 front struts and Mark II S4 rear coilers. It's got an English axle. It's five link, so like an S4. Yeah, yeah. HJ 30 inch S4 wheels. It's got uh, Capri front brakes and it's got a XR 3i rear disc conversion on it. The cage I made myself, uh, I made that. It's got S4 Mark II Ali Ruck tanks in the back. Yep. And then obviously I made the cage to suit basically. I had to because there was nothing, you couldn't buy a case to fit there. So going onto the inside, this is the first time I've seen inside the carbon fibre door cards with all the obligatory little billet handles and stuff. Kind of usual Nova setup. Is it an Ace Well? Yeah, an Ace Well dash, switch panel, floor mounted uh, OBP pedal box, very much like what I run in the Corsa. Because when you look underneath this car, it is full flat with two chassis rails because all in here has been custom fabricated to take the rear wheel drive setup with the ginormous, obviously, center tunnel to take the gearbox. Again, full roll cage, which I think has all been uh, one off made by the owner, which obviously goes down to the to the back turrets the reason why it has been one off is because the back turrets are escort mark II, the turret tops you can't just buy an off-the-shelf roll cage so he's had to make this full custom magnum seats which certainly suit the novas to a t the small gear stick like the mx5 floor mounted passenger foot rest and a giant rear view mirror and i do like where they've tied in this area as well because not many novas do that the question though is going to be why, why did you go the mx5 why didn't you go red top and Rear wheel drive too top. Heavy, and everyone's done that, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, and I thought MX5 is different, easy because it's, it's cheap, but also it's it's they're not it is the most powerful thing. You know, I never built it for that. Um, but yeah, it was um, it was just the fact of I wanted to do something different. No one else had done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was why I done done that really. That's, that's really well, and obviously I could sling it right back, get the weight transfer back. But yeah, I just made the tops fit. Mark II Escort. Yeah, the Mark II Escort stuff. Yeah. And then where the original arms bolt in a Nova, we fabricated the mounts off of the subframe to fit onto the chassis lot. So I the see. MX-5 drops right onto it. Yep. So it's an MX-5 engine mounts 
with us with escort uh, world cup cross member i see yeah. yeah as you will have heard this is obviously an mx5 setup top mounts have been adapted to take escort mark ii setup so basically the front struts are complete escort mark ii that's the original nova obviously fully adapted further down bulkhead's been chopped which has been fully adapted and plated which again the owner has done himself he has the escort mark ii cradle which has all been basically joined into all this lovely space frame setup which all goes into the, the roll cage system beautifully beautifully done and again from what i can gather it's still an original of the 1.8 mx5 engine bone stock but does it need any more because the car's still quite light but as you can see the work on this thing is absolutely top notch it is so nicely clean and done so we've managed to get underneath and as you can see a full floor has been fabricated from near enough front to rear. The Escort back axle with the five link, with the Escort Mark II boxes for the five link. And when I say five link, for people who don't know is one, two, three, four, five. It's very, very common on, on Rally Escort Mark IIs. It's what kind of a lot of people do to adapt to rear wheel drive. I wouldn't say a simple thing to do. It's just a very common tried and tested way of building these things. Obviously the box section to go across where the back seats would be, and what he did do is when he cut all the floor out, it had a piece in here which kept the floors apart. And then when he's finished it, chopped it out. This then is, he's bought two chassis sections, put them in, made the flat floor. It's obviously to go around. So all this is kind of been fabricated from nothing. That's why you've got like basically the independent prop support there to the gearbox. As you probably would have heard from the discussion, this is our Let's Go Mark II. They've then adapted these areas to take the original Escort Mark II uh, mounts, which then go to the, the MX-5. So they've been adapted as has this area, which obviously Novas don't have this type of setup. It all goes to the front, but then this is our Escort Mark II. That's the Escort Mark II. All rows joined for fully adjustable Escort Mark II uh, uprights and, and knuckles, because obviously Nova's a front wheel, front wheel drive and obviously they'd have a hub, so that's been adapted. This thing is stunning underneath. It's so, so clean and very, very well built. Other little things to point out is, obviously now with, with it being uh, rear wheel drive, the fuel tank can't sit in the original place. So the fuel tank's been put inside, with obviously like a small drop down area, which helps obviously with fuel slosh, come down into the pump filter, and then off it pops down to the engine. If you think of a standard Nova, it's a solid beam with the fuel tank. The fit and finish of this build is very, very clean. It is freshly been done. It's probably done around 60 miles since finishing. Let's dive in. So these, these are Escort Mark II shocker top turrets, which again, ties with all the underneath because all the rear end running gear is Escort Mark II. And again, that goes to obviously the custom roll cage, which has all been made to suit this back end area, which obviously he's had to fabricate all the, the wheel turrets to suit put the Escort Mark II box sections in, and then obviously he's decided to run the Escort Mark II fuel tank, which works really well with the spare wheel. We'll sign this video off. I love to see that people are still spending so much time and effort, especially restoring Novas into not just to back into concourse condition, into still putting their little twist on them because this thing is amazing. I think you'll all agree. I know a lot of Novas that have been built in the past, and I think I'd like to say I know a hell of a lot more that, have, uh, that are out there now, and this thing. I never even knew it was being built just to stumble across it whilst visiting someone else. Amazing find, because this thing is stunning. So I will sign this one off. I hope you've all enjoyed seeing this beautiful Nova and I'll see you all on the next video.